the satellite linkups were essentially they were a compromise. Um, the, the night that I met Bono in Verona, he was quite keen on coming to Sarajevo. Right then, let's get on the planes, let's do it, let's go play in Sarajevo, let's go, let's do something. Of course, I was game for that. That sounded great. Uh, and when I left that night in Italy, he said, you think of something and we'll do it. So I started thinking. And on the two days back to Croatia, to go back to Sarajevo with the interview of Bono, I was with a friend, Jason Aplon, and we thought, okay, they can't come to Sarajevo because if they come to Syria, a bunch of Bosnians will gather and they'll die because the, that's how the, the Bosnian Serbs would watch from the hills any sort of gathering, they would shell it. So that was out. Um, but then I thought, well, wait a minute. They have these huge 90-foot televisions they're using at their concerts. Why don't we reverse the whole thinking? Instead of bringing you two to Sarajevo, which really only benefits Sarajevans and you two, let's turn this all around and let's bring Sarajevo to you too. Uh, I suppose the saying, the thing is with TV is um, you don't know if it's, you don't know what you're seeing, if it's real. You can't tell the difference anymore between the adverts and what's happening on CNN or what's coming in on satellite. You can't ask the TV questions. You can't ask the television hard questions. Well, this is Zoo TV, and we're going to try and ask the television some questions because uh, we sent a satellite dish into the city of Sarajevo and uh, we got a friend there a cool guy called Bill Carter rock and roll fan let's see if we can get him on the line is it working? Are you there Bill? yeah I hear you Bono well you got I don't know 50,000 people here and we just wanted to say to you that it might not be on the news as much as we'd like, it might not be on the TV as much as it like, but you are with us tonight, you're with us here, and you're in our hearts tonight. Thank you. What's been happening uh, today? Well, it's, a, it's about 11 o'clock here in Sarajevo, and today the fighting is very little, but there's a general fear in town that this, the town is getting smaller. The perimeter of the town is being fought and the people are having to come to the center of town. And so the supplies of food and water and gas are becoming more of a problem. Um, and also tonight, about 12 kilometers from here, there's about 10 to 15,000 people refugees that are being attacked by artillery and they have nowhere to go and on a personal note my friend that had the piece of grenade in his head he died this morning uh, but tonight I have some friends with me from Sarajevo this is Darko who I asked earlier today, what is the hardest part of the war for him? Well, first of all, I want to say hello to all the people in Bologna, and thanks to Bill, you too, and all you people, we don't feel alone this night, as we usually do, especially for within the uh, last few months. Anyway, answering this question the hardest thing for me uh, although we we all in Sarajevo have to live with all this death all this terrible thing the hardest thing for me on my personal level plan 
is being separated from my family, my wife and kids. Uh, they live and they grow up somewhere abroad without me, with no opportunity to contact them. Even more shocked is the fact that my parents live just four kilometers from this place and I, I, I'm not able to contact them maybe except using such satellite connection. I'm not able to contact them for a year. Those are things that are hardest for me during these 15 months. Once again, thank, thank you all in Bologna. Also, I have another friend, Vlado, who has been separated from his wife for 17 months, and she lives in Bologna. And there's a good chance she, she could be there tonight. So he'd like to say a little message to her. I have a small message for my wife. Uh, mia cara Mirica, amore mio, io ti amo. My darling Mirica, I love you and I miss you. I am still alive and uh, I feel good. Thank you. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, you too. And grazie a Bologna. Ciao. I have no idea whether the satellites had, an imp had a huge impact in Europe. I think they did, because you're talking about a lot of people live that are seeing something extremely real that if I were to go home after that show to the pub or wherever, I mean, sure, I could talk about my favorite song for 20 minutes, but then the thing that's going to resonate is what was that? You know, who was that up on the screen? What was that all about? And that's going to be turning around in my head over and over. It's going to make you think about it. And that was the hope. The hope wasn't really to, I mean, I, I had no illusions that we were going to somehow, the politicians were suddenly going to do something about Bosnia, but I thought maybe the people, the young people, might think about it a little bit and start to question their own politicians. And, and that was as much as we could hope for. <laughs> 